movie tree. Howdy, howdy, branches, and welcome to episode number one hundred. Ooh, that may Get have that been fucking in the here. crackiest of cracks. <laughs> I'd be like, did you practice on that can? But no, you can I practiced only crack on six it, what, cans six before. Six cans yeah. prior, yeah, because you really got that one. Uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, man, 100 episodes. 100 episodes. I am feeling just as spry as when we recorded episode one. Yes, just as spry. Just as spry. The voice is feeling a little bit stronger. Actually. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Get yes. through these things, no problem. Yes. Uh, well, my name's Poncho, and my friend over there is GPG, and uh, this is how we got to episode 100. Each episode, we review a movie, and at the end of the review, we decide the movie for next week's episode. The catch is, the next movie we pick must be connected to the previous movie, whether that's by an actor, a writer, or the director. For instance, this week on episode number 100, we've chosen what movie? Well, Batman Forever. Batman Forever, and how did we get there? Thomas Lee Jones. Yep. He uh, was Agent K in uh, Men in Black. Yes. And he is uh, Harvey Dent slash Two-Face in Batman Forever. Ah, Tommy Lee Jones. Yes. Very good. And that's uh, that's how we've done it, and we've done a whole hundred episodes yes. now of it. So Yes. So just in case you've been living under a rock for the last week or so, we mm. uh, belatedly decided, because uh, we had nothing special planned for episode 100, we decided, well, we started with Batman 1989, It'd be nice if every hundredth episode we can branch to a Batman movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we branched from Men in Black to this one with Tommy Lee Jones, obviously, uh, to get to Batman Forever. 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 All right, the storyline. Was there? I'm not sure. Was there a storyline? Brainwaves or something. Uh, (laughs) Batman must battle former district attorney Harvey Dent, who is now Two-Face, and Edward Nygma, one of the worst fucking names in the history of the world, the Riddler with help from an amorous psychologist, which is accurate. She's amorous as fuck. (laughs) And a young circus acrobat who becomes his sidekick, Robin. Well, why don't you just spoil the whole movie in the fucking storyline? I mean, there's not much to spoil. It is. When did you first see Batman forever? Forever. 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 I saw it at the movies with uh, the family. I oh. um, Once again, this was big time popcorn I, uh, footage. I also saw this at the cinemas because to this point, Batman had been all good. <laughs> there was nothing bad, there was wasn't nothing there? bad. It was Michael Keaton twice. It was great. That's <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer in a cat suit. The That's second was fucking good. Danny DeVito looking like a penguin. Yeah, Val Kilmer. He's. Cool. Cool, yeah. He was good in Top Gun. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. He's going to play a cool guy. He's got man. Asi Nicole in it, too. That's it. And there's uh, not much. IMDb. What could go wrong? IMDb. And I think this is generous. 5.4. Blew me away when I looked at it. Rotten. 5.4. You know what? Um, that's, Batman that's a nostalgia rating from everyone. Batman and Robin is a 3.4. That's better. Yes. <laughs> it's more accurate. I was going to say, that should probably be lower, and this should come down to that. Yes. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, 41% critics, 32% audience. This blows my mind. On a budget of $100 million, the Lord of the Rings movies didn't cost that much individually. A lot of uh, a lot of set designing. <laughs> yes. Well, it made 336 mil at the box office, fifth at the box office, top four with Die Hard with a Vengeance, Toy Story, Golden Eye, and Pocahontas. So, it, it made money, but not as much as you'd want. It made I enough think. to guarantee an, a next one. <sighs> Why? Oh, well, you see the next one, you go, yeah, no, fair enough, that's probably, we should stop now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, right, so it released on the 29th of June, 1995. This is our second movie for 1995. Can you name the other one? Oh, let me try. Oh, 94. I appreciate the oh, fake effort you're going to make. Honey, I shrunk the kids. No, it was the 80s. Tried. Um, oh, no. oh, no. Dread. Judge Dread. Yes. Jesus, two absolute Two, two bangers shit. for 1995. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a runtime of two hours and one minute. Uh, produced by Warner Brothers, of course. Awards nominated for three Oscars. Oh, for what? Best shittest ci- film. Be- <laughs> that would be a Razzie. <laughs> best cinematography, beaten by Braveheart. Uh, best sound, beaten by Apollo Thirteen. And best effects, ed- sound effects editing, also beaten by Braveheart. Also, Bono was nominated for worst song at the Razzies. 
but was beaten by some song from Showgirls. Right, Showgirls. <laughs> Just cream of the crap. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Directed uh, by Joel Schumacher. Uh, so he's also obviously done St. Elmo's Fire, The Lost Boys, Flatliners, Falling Down, The Clients, A Time to Kill, Batman and Robin, they got him back, 8mm, Phone Booth and The Phantom of the Opera, movie adaptation. Yeah, nice. Couple of snippets of information. According to the Patriot News, while Tim Burton was still slated to direct the film, Mickey Dolenz was considered to play the Riddler. Uh, Dolenz would later play Two Faces henchman Min and Max in Batman the Animated Series. After Tim Burton dropped out, Robin Williams was offered the role by Warner Brothers, <gasps> but refused due to being bitter about being used as bait to lure Jack Nicholson to commit to play the Joker in All Batman right. 89. And you'd get that fact from... When did we bring that up? We didn't bring that up in Batman, did we? No, we I think it was um, Mrs. Doubtfire, maybe? One of those, yeah. Because, yeah. It, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the cast. Uh, Valley Val Kilmer, <laughs> 36. Valium Kill you. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones, 51. Jim Carrey, 33. Nicole Kidman, 28. Chris O'Donnell, 25. Drew Barrymore, 20. Now, last week, mm. we skinned the smoke wagon. It was our lowest ever skinning. Mm. We both said this would be a one. Mm-hmm. On the back of that, can I please have your thoughts on the score out of five? It's close to that. It's close to that. Close to uh, that? This is a hot mess. <laughs> Uh, the writers were told to make a Batman film and they immediately morphed into a couple of nine-year-old boys and started saying, you know what would be cool? And they wrote a script out of that. <laughs> uh, the dialogue is some of the worst we have ever come across. The relationships the characters build from minor interactions are laughable. The storyline is garbage. Brainwave stealing? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I know they had nothing to work with, so it's not really on them, but there is no good performance in this film. Uh, the whole production of this film is so bad that A24 are going to shoot a movie about people making this movie and it's going to win an Oscar. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> On a positive note, it is really well shot. It's shooting shit, but it is shot that shit that really shit well. That shit looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for uh, Burton, Nolan and Reeves. Yes. This is a 1.1. 1.1. I had to uh, save room for Batman and Robin. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> this, this is garbage. <laughs> um, <laughs> what about you, mate? What about you? Uh, I can safely say uh, when we spoke about this movie last week and watching it this week, I was actually surprised by this movie. <laughs> I was surprised how fucking <laughs> shit it was. In my mind, I thought <laughs> it can't be. Like uh, We gave it ones, but I thought it can't be that bad. Surely it's going to be a two or a one and a half, yeah. something like that. It's going to have something. I will say it is the best Batman movie released in 1995. It oh. does have that going for it. Oh, was Mask of the Phantasm released? No, it wasn't. I checked. <laughs> it almost made me long for Mr. Freeze and Bat Nipples. Like, right. This is horribly acted, horribly scripted, horrible effects, horrible dubbing. I, I found it hard to watch with the dubbing of, of so the So much of it, isn't there? Especially Tommy Lee Jones. It's like, from start to finish, this was just a giant fucking turd. Yeah. <laughs> there should be warnings played before you watch this film <laughs> on account of how bad it is. There is literally no saving grace with this. This is downright fucking horrible. I also gave it a 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, wow. We hit it out of the park on a, on a lowy. <laughs> hey. It's been a while since we've done that when it wasn't two fives. I will say this, this the only saving grace you could give it yep. is that it is what they wanted it to be, I guess. Well, it's not. Well, you've read some For, of the trivia. Schumacher wanted a darker story and was shot down. Okay. Well, no saving grace then. No. <laughs> it is garbage. The original cut was over three hours long, apparently. Fucking release the Schumacher cut. Yeah, that's exactly right. God, can you imagine it's just like fucking two face blowing heads off and shit and just like real dialogue driven <laughs> <laughs> it's Two Face having an existential crisis yeah. about having two faces. It goes back into the Doctor Meridian's past, and yeah. she's got like real father issues where he beats her. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. this all makes sense why she's into the dark black hero man, That's the right. bat. <laughs> uh, right. So uh, obviously that gives it a one point one, and that puts it second last. Yeah, that puts it ninety ninth. <laughs> Just above Critters. Critters, yeah. Uh, I I had to have it above Critters. Just below Planet of the Apes, uh, which you actually gave Planet of the Apes the same score as this. 1.1. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It's on the same level. It's on the same level. It's on the same level. (laughs) There is no... What what gets higher on IMDb with that? Planet of the Apes is a 5.7. Okay, good. 
It got better than that. And as we know, Critters is a 6.1. Fucking hell. It is. There. See, once again, that's the, um, that's the what's it called? That's the nostalgia, nostalgia rating. Yeah, I suppose. That's a whole IMDb score of nostalgia. I'm uh, scared to ask. Have you got a best on ground? It was hard. It wasn't. It, it? was really hard, but I, I gave it to Valley Val Kilmer as Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Uh, there is only one portion of good acting in this film, and it almost feels like the Burton films for a minute second, like a real tiny part, and it's when Bruce tells Dick that his family was also killed by maniacs. The shading, everything shot on him. Val yeah. Kilmer's just hits him. He goes, no, my, my family were killed by maniacs too. And I'm like, oh, shit's a little bit dark. Yes. And then it goes back to the absolute garbage we watched. Yep. That's the only reason Val Kilmer gets best on ground. Your family wasn't killed by a maniac. Yes, they were. We're the same. If we're the same, Bruce, help me. All right, train me. Let me be your partner. No. I can't. What about you? Realistically, it should be no one. There's not a, there's not a good... Total performance in this movie. That's what I mean. It, it was like 0.5 of a second that gave it to Val Kilmer. But on, on further <laughs> reflection, I think Kilmer wasn't horrible as Batman. Certainly not the worst Batman. I don't think Val Kilmer's ever been horrible. No, me either. But in, in this steaming yeah. pile of rubbish, mm. it was a little shiny copper coin yeah. just sitting in the back there. <laughs> uh, yeah. This was a bit harder. Worst on ground. Uh, yeah, I could have gone everyone else. Uh, or even including Val Kilmer, he could have got best and worst. But <laughs> I, I gave it to Chris O'Donnell as Dick Grayson because what well, I, I think we brought it up bef- last week. Was it last week? Yeah, it was. Can we just did? Yeah. Why is he a thing? Why, Why was, was he, he a he thing? thing? Is he the Jai Courtney of his day? And they're yeah. just like, we're going to make Chris O'Donnell work. Yep. And 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 people just like he's not working though. No. And they're like, well, we'll try him in one more film. It'll be big budget. Yep. And we'll see how it goes. And it failed. And they're like. Maybe we can try him in one more film. <laughs> <laughs> Send him to TV, yeah. NCIS, LA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chris O'Donnell with ease. Oh, okay, ease, okay, ease. Who you got? Uh, this was hard on account of how shit everyone was, but uh, shout outs to uh, O'Donnell, Jim Carrey, and Nicole Kidman, uh, who saved herself. She started off horribly, but she saved herself when she stopped being a flirty slut. Talking to Batman, <laughs> decide to talk like a normal human being to Bruce Wayne. You got a problem with slut? No. <laughs> there can be only one though, and it's our branch, Tommy Lee Jones. He was fucking. What, he doesn't even belong in this movie. I don't know why he took the role. I don't money. I, it's got to be money. Surely he has enough money. How old did you say he was in this? Fifty two. Maybe he had alimony. I don't know, but fuck me. Yeah, true. This Come was kids. This was fucking horrible. <laughs> oh well, cool. Play of the day. Uh, <laughs> when the movie ended, oh, yeah, <laughs> credits. But not even because we uh, had to listen to fucking you too. Uh, you too. Uh, if you go long enough, you have to listen to Seal as well. Uh. <laughs> um, what was it? Uh, the trapping the Batman. I thought that was the only Batmanish scene. So when uh, he runs out of the gala, Edward Nigma's uh, ball. Oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah. uh, Two Face goes down into a hatch, and he's yeah. like, "Come get me, Batman!" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Batman jumps down. I thought that looked really cool. The way he actually flies down. They nailed the score, and uh, then the movie continued. Yes, on. Yeah, didn't stop there. <laughs> it didn't stop, unfortunately. Uh, this was tough, and I mean tough. Yeah, but I really liked the scene at Nigma's gala ball where uh, Ed. Jim Carrey is trying to look and act like Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah, he's got the With glasses. With the mole, he's got the glasses and the slick back hair and the tuxedo. <laughs> like, really good acting there by Jim Carrey. It's the only part of the whole movie where he... I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a Jim Carrey idea. It, look, I reckon most of what he did was Jim Carrey ideas, and that yeah. was the problem with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was like he thought, you know what? You know what would be funny in a Batman yeah. movie? Fucking Ace Ventura. Yeah. Imagine the day where you said, uh, where you said, I'd rather see Paul Dano as the Riddler. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, you know <laughs> what? I thought it. I thought that exact thing. As soon as he showed up with fucking David Bowie's hair from the seventies, yeah. I thought, oh please, I want, I need Paul Dano now in my life again. Did he? He must have gotten that from. That is straight up David Bowie. Yeah, I'm amazed he didn't have the mark. If this was made like four years earlier. He's probably wearing the mullet of Ziggy Stardust. He wanted to shave a question mark into his head, Jim Carrey, but he couldn't because he was at the time 
having to go to court for his divorce. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> oh, <it's, laughs> uh, would you watch it again? Uh, no. Uh, how about... Uh, Hell no to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Not a fucking chance. No. Nah, I, uh, I don't even think I'll watch this in some sort of uh, marathon. No. No, if we ever do a Batman marathon, I'm happy to skip these two. Yeah, it would have to be a weekend almost to do all Batmans. I mean, watching this drunk with mates though, and it'd be a laugh. It would be a laugh. Be a laugh. Anyway, mm. where'd you watch? I watched this on binge. Yes, I also watched it on binge. I'm not going to tell you where to rent it or if the DVD is available because I don't want anyone else watching this movie because it's shit out. Wouldn't want to make a mistake like that and no. hurt other people's lives. Exactly right. Uh, do you want some trivia? I do. Let's do some movie trivia. Body count, body count. 17. Yeah? Yeah. When did they all die? Two-Face killed a lot of people. Batman killed Two-Face. God, that's more than Men in Black. Yeah. Uh, in the first Batman, uh, District Attorney Harvey Dent was, of course, played by Billy D. Williams. He uh, was he accepted the role with the knowledge and expectation that Harvey Dent would eventually become Two-Face. He reportedly had a clause put into his contract reserving the role for him in any sequels, which Warner Brothers had to buy out so they could cast Tommy Lee Jones. Women's Williams would eventually voice the character in the Lego Batman movie. Yeah, right. Casting news. Leonardo DiCaprio turned down the role of Dick Grayson because he didn't like Joel Schumacher's direction. Well done. <laughs> for, the same re- for the same reason, Michael Keaton re- uh, declined to reprise his role as Bruce Wayne. Uh, he actually he also asked for 15 mil, which they refused to pay. Yeah, fuck, fair enough. <laughs> Marlon Wayans was re- originally slated to play Dick Grayson uh, when Tim Burton was considering directing it. But once Joel Schumacher ultimately took the helm, his vision for the character did not jive with placing Wayans in the role and instead cast Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, okay. Read between the lines, Joel Schumacher is racist. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it. Confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rene Russo was originally cast to play Dr. Chase when Michael Keaton was still attached. However, when Keaton dropped out of the project he was re- she was uh, and was replaced by Val Kilmer, Russo was deemed too old to play his love interest, despite only being six years older than Val Kilmer. Uh, Nicole Kidman, who ultimately played the role, is seven and a half years younger than Val Kilmer. Wowee, of course. Um, scheduling conflicts with Braveheart forced Mel Gibson to turn down the role of Harvey Dent uh, Two-Face. That would have been good. He was previously forced to turn down the role of uh, Bruce Wayne, or Batman, in Batman 89 due to commitment to Lethal Weapon 2. That was... Oh, fuck. That's not bad. Yeah, right. Some good stuff. And mullet, uh, mullet Batman. Mullet Batman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and this one keeps popping up. Michael Jackson... <laughs> lobbied, lobbied to play the role of Riddler, but was turned down. Jeez, he probably would have made a good Riddler. Actually, just how creepy I he is. I feel like that's probably the one role he could probably could play. Yeah, just hey, just be yourself, Michael. Oh, don't you want oh, me to act over the oh, top? Yeah. You know, yeah, elaborate. That, that's right, Michael. Just be yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Michael. You, you're nailing it. <laughs> can, I, can I bring the monkey? <laughs> perfect. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Bring him. <laughs> Riddle me this. Riddle me that, Batman. <laughs> Who's afraid of the big bad bat? <laughs> Fear, pure fear. I no longer fear bats. <laughs> uh, all right, have you got some branching for me? I've got some serious brains for you. And now it's time for us to branch out and decide what we'll watch next week. Stacked, stacked, uh, I believe. Yeah, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. The Outrageous Eight. Ooh. All nice. Right. nice. <laughs> Valley Valium Kilmer. Yep. Don't, uh, don't you dare say it. The Ghost in the Darkness. Oh, okay. <laughs> waiting for the island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> Almost, almost. I'd be tempted. I don't I'd, even know. Could, did we see if we could get it anywhere? I don't think we could. Nah, I didn't look. Uh, Probably not. Probably have to get a bootleg DVD yeah. from the fucking op shop. <laughs> Jimothy Carey. Yep. The Mask. Oh, Schmogan. Uh, Nicole Kidman, Days of Thunder. Oh. <laughs> Chris O'Donnell, Scent of a Woman. <laughs> oh. uh, Pat Hingle, The Quick and the Dead. Mm-hmm. Drew Barrymore, E.T. Oh, wow. Drew Barrymore, Never Been Kissed. Yes, she has. I can confirm. Can confirm. Schumacher, The Lost Boys. Ooh. Once again from the top, please. All right. The Ghost in the Darkness. No. no. Cancel that out. Yep. The Mask. Keep it. Keep it. All right. Days of Thunder. Keep it. Scent of a Woman. Sorry, Al. Ditch it. Oh, that's harsh. Uh, the Quick and the Dead. Ditch it. Oh, damn. E.T. Ditch it. Because we've done a lot of Spielberg, really. Okay. We've done the most Spielberg oh, of anyone. Yeah. Uh, never been kissed. 
Keep it. Keep it. And the Lost Boys. Keep it. Okay. So you kept The Mask. Yep. Days of Thunder. Yep. Uh, Never Been Kissed. Yep. And The Lost Boys. All right. Um, Let's go Never Been Kissed. Oh, we're roming it. We're roming it and we're, we're going to comet. Rom it and comet. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. The ladies are going to like this one. So, Drewy, Drewy Barrymore was the. Uh, Drewith. Branchy. Drewith branch, yeah. de Barrymore, the second. All right. On the back of that, then, let's. Uh, Go ahead, skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. I think Jessica Elba's in this, too, is she not? I think she plays one of her high school friends, like her uh, new friends in high school. Oh, I haven't watched it in like 15 years. <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, I think I'm going to say, I've always enjoyed it. Doesn't mean it's necessarily a good movie, but I'm going to say around a 3.1. I, I think I read an article not long ago where they're saying it's very problematic. I, I think it's David Arquette, I think because he's the brother, yeah. and he goes into school with her. Yes. And, and he, like he starts making out with you. With, she, with, with teenagers, yes. <laughs> I can't remember if he does or not, but uh, I don't know. I always uh, always watch this one and had fun with it. Yep. And it's one of those secondhand cringe, like secondhand embarrassment movies where you're like, oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't. Yep. And uh, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll give it a three, I reckon. Three? I'm going to go okay. a three. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get to see if she's Josie Grossy. Still. That's right, Josie Grossy. <laughs> <laughs> she rolls in with all the makeup on and the <laughs> does the dance. <laughs> she looks like she's from the sixties. Yeah, when she walks in, she yeah. got like the, the she's got like a feather, feather bow on. on. <laughs> <laughs> we could have fun with this. We could have fun with this. I thought for sure you were quick in the dead in it, ET or Lost Boys. Well, you thought wrong, but then you went like way out there with Days of Thunder. <laughs> Wrong again. I thought even Scent of a Woman you might give a go. Ooh-ah. How we'd go on that one. I can't watch Chris O'Donnell in two, two movies in a row. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. He doesn't have that that aura that would uh, would stop me from watching it like Jim Carrey. Okay. Like you get Jim Carrey, it's fucking Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, true. You get Chris O'Donnell, you're sort of like, well, he's there, but Al Pacino's probably going to cover it. <laughs> probably, <laughs> yeah. yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was good, man. It was, it was good. Uh, happy 100th. Happy 100th. Here's to the next 100. And also, happy birthday to you, good sir. Ah, uh, yes. Soon. 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 Soon or past. Past. Depending yeah, when this comes out. Depends if you're yeah. listening or you're here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a paradise. It's a riddle. Riddle me uh, this, riddle no. me that. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't.